before I come back to Ambassador Puri on uh, on this idea of, uh, of mediation. Michael, do you, do, you, do you want to just carry on on that point? I, I would agree with where I think uh, Avinash was going. It's 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 very difficult at this moment in time with tensions uh, so high to uh, to try to bring mediation into play. And you know, it, it, it's it's clear that uh, in many cases when India has faced uh, internal or bilateral crises uh, or disputes, whether it's Kashmir or other things, it does not welcome any type of third party uh, mediation. But you know, I think that there, there could be opportunities as early as now and into the next week. Uh, you know, as you know, the UNGA meetings are taking place in New York and uh, we have senior Canadian and Indian and U.S. Uh, officials that are that are there. So there could be some opportunities for some some discussions on the sidelines. Again, back channels as, as the term mm-hmm. that I think I use. So, you know, th- there could be some opportunities. But again, I just think at this point, the way this crisis, the dynamics of this crisis right now appear to be much too uh, escalatory to think that any type of external mediation at this point in time is in a p- position to slow things down. But as I had said before, don't focus on trying to just end it, so to speak. Clearly, Canada's main demand of India is that it cooperate with the investigation. And it doesn't appear that um, India is keen to uh, to do that. Um, but again, the focus should be on trying to convince both capitals to come up with the right incentive structure where they conclude that it's not in either of their interests to take new escalatory uh, steps. And, you know, for okay. instance, if India were to reduce security at Canadian diplomatic facilities, uh, in, in in India, which of course, as you'll recall, that happened when the U.S. and uh, when the India and the U.S. had their dispute had their dispute a decade ago over the Cobra Gatti affair. You know, so th- there's things that could be done that I think could really put the put the the two countries in a position where it's really difficult to uh, to de-escalate. Yeah. But- let, 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 let me bring the diplomat into this conversation. Ambassador Puri, uh, if there's any mediation, it's certainly not going to be accepted by India overtly. It will have to be back channel whispers, uh, nudges and, and, and so on. I, I don't see it going any other way. Where, what do you think? Uh, you know, I think it's going to get more aggressive till, till, till India softens at least. Uh, Barkha, I don't know if you saw this article in the Washington uh, Post or the Wall Street Journal, Tunku Vardarajan who said some mm-hmm. Canadian face will have to go for both sides to save face. I don't know about it. Look, I am uh, generally of the view that a degree of this matter getting further escalated will happen before things get dialed down. But talking in terms of mediation, if we don't use this word in its formal sense, somebody coming, talking, arbitrary, no. But in terms of what countries do, and you don't need to be at the United Nations or anything else in that context. But I personally think that the country with the leverage is without doubt the country where Michael is based. And that is the country which would have the greatest interest in dialing down things. Now, how should things be dialed down? I don't know if I can say this on your channel, but let me say this. I am not such a great fan of bring out the evidence. Because, you know, this drip, drip kind of thing or much more than that. And you can then trash the evidence after that. But, you know... exactly. That seems to me perhaps the better way would be to, you know, somehow or the other, you know, get into the act, although immediately seems very difficult because the temperatures are extremely high. So explain that. Explain that. Because so far the focus has always been, uh, has been mostly on where's the evidence. You're saying that's the slippery slope because whatever he says... India is going to say rubbish, right? And now we know that Indian diplomats were under surveillance. Uh, they the, the reverse stories of how unverified Trudeau refused to uh, stay in a certain hotel room on the, in the G20 because he thought he was under surveillance. The story today leaked to the Canadian media. Basically, one proves that Indians were under surveillance by the Canadians. So, Barka, you know, we are in the real world. And uh, I don't think that anybody thinks that these are not the the ways in which countries and governments deal with each other. So let's leave that out of this particular picture altogether. My simple point on this evidence business is this, that, you know, of course you will trash it. Of course, the other side will say it's the greatest and most credible evidence. And everybody knows it's, it's perhaps here, not there, but it allows people to, you know, come to their own sets of conclusion. Now, You will have to say, show the evidence. The gentleman will have to say, I can't, it's national security, this, that, which is not a bad idea. While other things happen in the back, real things happen in the back to try and say, 
keep up the rhetoric, but yeah. keep the real thing a bit down. Yeah, I tend to agree with you. I, I I actually find the whole show us the evidence. When will he show us the evidence? Not a route that is that is going to uh, actually lead to any kind of de escalation. Before I give Rupa the last word, Avinash, if you can hear me, do go ahead with the point you were trying to make about questions being asked uh, around the world in global capitals. Yes, thank you, Burkan. Sorry for technology failing uh, failing me for this this time round. Look, the questions that are being asked at least in London, which I've been asked since since this crisis has kind of blowed over, is why is India in the kind of uh, position that we have seen countries like China, Russia, or Saudi Arabia in the past? I think that's a, that's a shock because the question also comes from a source of, uh, you know, the fact that people actually, I mean, there's a very positive view of India generally. So people are surprised. People are asking questions that you are an ally, you are a partner. Uh, why would you do something of this sort? Even if we accept that, you know, your position on the Russia-Ukraine war, people have come to accept that position as actually quite a bold balancing move. But the allegation that has been alleged by Justin Trudeau is of a whole different caliber. So there are reputational costs. And I think this is the kind of messaging that um, Ottawa is doing right now to Delhi that, look, you think if you think you're going to go scot-free without any bruises, publicly speaking, diplomatically, that's not going to happen. Uh, and that's why Jake Sullivan's statement, uh, a very cautious statement, but one where he's trying to balance different priorities, strategic priorities, right. is very important to note. Well, I'm just going to give Rupa the last word with just a little sort of caveat of my own, that this is not how India, even across political affiliations, Indians who don't agree on anything, uh, most Indians, I won't say there aren't exceptions, most Indians today agree on being irritated by Western hypocrisy, are irritated and bored by the complete absence of commentary on terrorism, a complete lack of understanding on what Khalistan is, what it's done to this country, Mishka, to Indira Gandhi's assassination. And I think that's really galling to Indians. But the last word to you, uh, you know, in terms of who's going to face the reputational damage, where this is headed, and Ambassador Puri's very interesting point, show us the evidence isn't the route to de-escalation. Quick, quick, quick last word, Rupa. Uh, yeah, Barka, I think uh, I, I think we're in a very, very bad situation here. I, I as a person of uh, Indian origin, I have strong ties to India, but I also love Canada. I'm caught up, caught in this, um, you know, in this, in this, in the middle of the spat. Uh, a lot of uh, just average people like me are uh, wondering, you know, what the future is going to look like. Um, uh, India has canceled visas um, for Canadians applying to go to India. Um, uh, that's not a good development. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, Canadians have families back in India. So if you're in an emergency situation, what do you do? Uh, so unfortunately, people have been caught up in this diplomatic spat. I think Mr. Trudeau needs to uh, provide, um, uh, you know, uh, work with uh, India. India claims that Trudeau has not provided any evidence. At this point, we're uh, lost in the fog of war. And uh, but, you know, I, I really hope uh, that, you know, the investigations by the way, I mean, it's worth pointing out that the RCMP is still uh, um, uh, continuing investigations into this matter. So it's an ongoing investigation uh, that has resulted in the expulsion of a diplomat and then India responds uh, with a tit-for-tat expulsion. So I, I just hope that we find a way uh, where the two countries, uh, you know, work to work, uh, uh, you know, together, come to some kind of uh, an arrangement where they get to the bottom of this, uh, of this, and actually uh, figure out what exactly happened here. And it's also important that Canada real realize that the Khalistan separatist issue is uh, a serious national security threat uh, to the Indian state. Um, you know, Canada certainly wouldn't uh, entertain, would, would not, would, wouldn't, wouldn't like the idea if an if FLQ uh, separatist were given safe haven in uh, India. Absolutely. And, 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 you know, they would they would certainly have a thing or two to say about it. So, you know, there's got to be some, um, you know, there's got to be some understanding of uh, each country's position here. India certainly, I, I abhor um, uh, extrajudicial killings, uh, uh, you know, uh, just uh, for the record. So, you know, if India did in fact do this, I think it's quite mm -hmm. concerning. I, do, I don't think in, you know, I, 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 I don't think India wants to be in that, uh, uh, you know, want, wants to be lumped in with uh, with the other unsavory countries. Uh, but uh, but having said that, Mr. Trudeau needs to uh, to to work with his Indian allies and 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 get to the bottom of this.